The Porsche Macan Turbo is dead. Long live the new third generation Porsche Macan Turbo, otherwise known as the GTS. Then again, at 65 grand, the new 169 mile an hour Macan GTS does more than just replace the turbo at the top of the range. In many ways, it supersedes it dynamically and brings with it a unique GTS personality, all of its own. It also looks more imposing than before, thanks to a much more aggressive new nose. The GTS badging is everywhere and there are 21 inch wheels and tires and air suspension as standard to keep all 2,035 kilograms of the GTS firmly in check on the road. Does it succeed? Well, in a word, yes. And this is why. It is a bit of a shame that they've got rid of the full-blown Macan Turbo model, but actually it doesn't matter because it's just a rebranding, rebadging job. But there's always been a GTS Macan. And now all they've done is drop the turbo version in name and the GTS becomes, if you like, the full-blown turbo. And it's got just as much power, more agility than ever. I've always really liked the GTS visual treatment, especially inside. You, you can obviously tell a GTS pretty easily from the outside from all those cues that we've just talked about. But inside, you get the suede wheel, you get these little dashes of colour and the GTS badges, more supportive seats. It just feels, I, if anything, I actually think it feels more sporting than the old turbos used to because the GTS was always the kind of slight connoisseur's version. And whatever it is and whatever it is, it feels good inside here. And I remember when the Macan originally went on sale and we first drove it out in Leipzig where they build it, and Porsche went on and on about the fact that it was kind of half sports car, half SUV. And I remember sitting there in a the press conference and everyone was kind of, hmm, are they talking a bit of BS here? Or are they actually telling the truth? And we all drove it the next day and we all came back and went, do you know what? It does actually feel like half a sports car and half an SUV because you sit really nice and low behind the wheel in the Macan. And yet you still sit high, a little bit higher than you do in a conventional car. It's a really lovely combination. The 2.9 litre twin turbo V6 produces exactly the same amount of power and torque as the old 3.6 turbo. 434 bhp and 550 newton metres. So on paper, the GTS is every bit as quick as the old turbo. 0 to 62 takes 4.3 seconds with the sports chrono pack fitted. And as we said, the top speed is 169. Inside, Porsche's designers have raided the corporate parts bin for the third generation Macan, with a new center console featuring mostly one-touch haptic controls that will be familiar to anyone who's ever climbed inside either a Taycan or the latest KN or even a 992. There's also a huge new 10.9 inch central touchscreen that sits in the middle of the dash and which is unusually intuitive to use, providing control over just about everything the GTS does. The performance in the GTS, the new GTS, is really not in doubt. I'll show you in a second what it's like, what it sounds like. I'll try and describe a little bit of what it feels like when you put your foot down and get all 434 bhp and I think it's 550 newton meters of torque thrusting you towards the horizon. It is pretty impressive. But actually, most of the time in cars like this, you are just going to spend bumbling about the place, using them more properly and just, you know, taking advantage of the fact that it's a really quite practical, refined vehicle. Mounted on the bottom right of the all-new steering wheel is a small rotational button, similar to the one you'll find in Caymans and 911s. This allows you to very quickly scroll through the various drive modes without having to take your eyes off the road. Other manufacturers, please take note. And it really does change the personality of the thing on the move. So I'm in normal at the moment and the air suspension is in its most chilled, most refined setting. 
and the ride is very good. Steering's quite meaty in, in all the settings, but the ride in particular just really calms right down. So then you go up to Sport, and instantly you get a downshift, because the transmission map gets fruitier, the throttle map gets fruitier, and you can hear the exhaust gets fruitier too. So then you go to Sport Plus, and everything goes up a step again. And then you've got individual where you can just set everything how you want. But it, it sounds simple, but a lot of manufacturers get this really wrong. Porsche do it brilliantly. Right, this thing weighs just over two tonnes. And it has 435 horsepower and 550 newton meters of torque. And a seven speed PDK gearbox. This is what it's like under full beans in second gear. I mean, it's not kind of tear your hair off fast, but this is a seriously fast vehicle. Not to 62 miles an hour. I think it's 4.3 seconds. 4.3 seconds, not to 100 miles an hour in 10 and a bit seconds. When I started doing this a long time ago, admittedly, 10 seconds to 100 miles an hour was the exclusive reserve of full house supercars. Nothing other than a supercar would get under 10 to 100. Now this thing, a two ton SUV, will do it easy peasy all day long. <laughs> it's mental and it's so smooth and so refined when you're doing it. And yet when you really bury the throttle in the carpet, it sounds great as well. In short, the new Gen 3 Macan GTS is deceptively refined, very fast and is just a great SUV to drive. Dynamically, it has no real rivals. But it's also practical, well equipped and beautifully made for a car that's built in such relatively high numbers. It's basically the best medium sized SUV that money can buy right now. And although the turbo model might now be gone, it won't be missed. That is how good the latest Macan GTS has become.